What's going on, family? It's your boy Trey with John, and we back, baby, with another Forex video. Oh, caught that with the hands. Um, actually, since this book kind of fell into my hand, you see what I did there? Um, guys, check this out. Trading for a Living by Dr. I think it's Alexander Elder. Let me just go ahead and double check. Yes, Dr. Alexander uh, Elder. Guys, check this out. This is like the trading Bible. Um, really cheap book. And honestly, it shows you a bunch about money management, risk management, the psychology, your mindset, and just a bunch of things that go into trading that, you know, I feel like the mass majority of people don't talk about. You know, all we do is talk about, or the majority of people, all they do is talk about, you know, the trading systems, the strategies, you know, the things that are going to make you money. When in reality, that's just a small percentage of, you know, you winning your trades. The bigger percentage is your psychology and how you think about the markets. And this book dives deep into it. And it also goes into, you know, some trading systems and things like that. So definitely give it a look um but guys today's a very important video right i'm gonna be talking to you guys about market structure now market structure is probably the most important thing when it comes to trading in the financial markets all right support resistance by the previous video we went over uh, over a couple weeks ago and that's a great video you know it goes over the bare minimums the fundamentals of what you need to know in order to trade guys but to be honest if you want to keep it real market structure you need to know that when you, the moment you know market structure very well, your trading journey will completely change. You know, you'll see the market completely differently. You'll be able to get some really good entries and understand the flow and the trend of the market, right? So today we'll be going over that. I don't want to hold this too, too long, this little intro, guys. So I'll see you on the charts and let's get to it. All right, guys, and we are on the charts. Let's go ahead and break this thing down. So market structure, right? Like I told you guys, this is so important, man. This is like, you know, top two, but not two, if you know what I'm talking about, right? So price action and market structure are the top two things that you need to know and understand, in my opinion. Remember, this is all opinionated, but in my opinion, in order to be extremely successful in these markets, all right? That's, this is all that I've been focusing on, to be completely honest with you, price action and market structure back to back. And then, of course, back to that, well, third to that comes the Fibonacci retracement, which we'll get into in a second, right? So... I drew up a little diagram for you guys to, got, to kind of show you guys exactly, you know, what I'm looking for and exactly what market structure even means in the first place, right? So um, <clears throat> there are three directions in which the market goes, okay? So we have an uptrend, we have a downtrend, and then we have consolidation, okay? Uptrend, very obvious, price is pushing to the upside, okay? Downtrend, also very obvious, price is pushing to the downside, right? We're looking for sales in a downtrend and we're looking for buys in the uptrend and then we have consolidation consolidation is pretty much where price is consolidated right usually into a small confined area and price cannot push out of it right it's creating resistance it's creating support right and price normally can't break out that box but once it does break out that box it starts a new trend so as you can see uptrend we hit some kind some kind of consolidation right we hit a top, a ceiling. If you guys have checked my previous video, I talk about support and resistance, identifying your key zones, right? So we hit some type of resistance, right? A ceiling. We come down, hit a support, go back up, hit a ceiling, come back down, hit a support, right? So resistance, support, back to back to back. And we're not really going anywhere, right? We're moving sideways at the end of the day, right? You don't want to be trading in that. Very dangerous um, for scalping. You know, you may be able to get away with some great moves, but for me, I intraday trade, so we're not looking for any of those trades in consolidation. We really want to focus on the trend. So now we want to identify, we want to focus on, you know, knowing where you are in the trend. So market structure is all about understanding higher highs and higher lows, right? The moment you understand that, well, not market structure, sorry, but uptrends, right? Higher highs and higher lows. That's when you know you're in an uptrend, okay? So let me go ahead and just kind of illustrate this for you guys, right? So say we have price coming down over here. Right, we have, we're going down, we create a low, right? After creating that low, we come up, come back down, back up, back down, and this is where we are, right? So we kind of had these double bottoms, right? Two lows, price comes up, right? We have resistance, double tops. We hit this low, but now this low that we hit here, right? <clears throat> right, it's actually a little bit higher than the previous low, okay? All right, nothing crazy yet. So I'm gonna take that away for now, but I want you guys to understand, right? We came from a downtrend, now we're at this low. Price pushes up and it creates a high, okay? After creating that high, we come back down and we actually created a higher low. Now, 
what is a higher low? A higher low is exactly like it says, guys. It's higher than the previous low, okay? Simple as that. Now, as price breaks back up to the upside, it creates what we know as a higher high. What does that mean? Self-explanatory, right? Higher than the previous high, okay? So we can expect price to come down on the pullback and then do what? Create another higher low, right? Higher than the previous low, okay? Not rocket science, very simple to understand, guys. All we're doing is we're creating higher highs, right? Price is passing the previous high, right? And we're creating lows, right? But those lows are higher than the previous lows, okay? Now we know we're in an uptrend, so we're looking for buys here. And of course, you wanna look for buys at the higher low, right? You wanna buy when price is low, very simple. So you wanna buy here, you wanna buy over here, and you also wanna buy over here, okay? And the way to get these entries, you know, you can use your Fibonacci's, right? You can grab the Fibonacci. I'm gonna make a, an actual video on this going more in depth, but grab your Fibonacci, go from the swing low up to the swing high, right? And normally the way I trade, I trade between the 61 and 70%. I wait for rejection somewhere in that area, right? Price taps that area. I'm looking for the buy there and we take it up, okay? You can either take it to the, the, the same high that you just fell from, or you can take it to a the new higher high, okay? Or if you have some type of trading plan, take it to your goal or the amount of pips you're shooting for, okay? Or to structure. So that's typically the uptrend, okay? And then we have consolidation, which we don't touch, right? Price created a high, came down to a low, back up to that same high. Let me actually grab my tool so you guys can see, right? Back up to that same high, back down to that same low, and we're not going anywhere, right? Same high, same high, same low, same low. We're not doing anything, so we don't touch this. We wait until we break out of this consolidation. So we extend this, and then right here, finally, guys, we actually break this consolidation with this area right around here, okay? We actually break all, the, all three of those supports. Now we're on alert. Price comes down, creates a lower low, right? Because this is the previous low that we've been looking at. Price comes down and creates a lower low than the previous low. So now we're like, okay, cool. We're looking for the actual sells, but we're not in a selling market yet. Once we create that lower high, then we're in the seller's market. So price pulls back up and it creates that lower high, right? Remember, this is the previous high, this resistance. It creates a lower high. Now, you know, beautiful, we're on the way down. We're in a downtrend and we're looking for sells, all right? And the way to know how to catch that lower high same thing, guys. Grab your Fibonacci, go from the top down to the bottom, and you want to wait for me at least at 61, 70%, and you can take it back down. So, in this case, you know, we'll actually move this a little bit uh, up to here. You know, that's what it would look like. And then you take that sell back down. Okay. So, price pushes back down, and it just does, it does the same thing. You know, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. Obviously, lower highs are where you're looking for your shorts, aka your sells, and simple as that. And market does this 24-7, right? It does this all the time. Now, it's your job to identify where we are. Are we in an uptrend? Cool, looking for buys. Are we in consolidation? Not touching it. Are we in a downtrend? Cool, looking for sells, okay? Simple as that. So now what we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead. I'm on the four-hour time frame. I'm actually on Euro USD, right? The Euro, uh, Euro versus the dollar. We're going to go down and we're going to identify and look at some scenarios. Okay. Now, I want to show you guys this. One good way to identify some things is go on the line chart. The line chart can really help you identify your lows and highs because you can easily see everything, right? You can see that we have a high over here, right? Price came down, made a low, okay? Pushed up, made a lower high. So now you're like, okay, are we possibly on the sell? Price came back down, made a lower low, but then we pushed up and we created somewhat of the same high, right? Somewhat of the same high. But ultimately, if you take a step back, right, we're in a buyer's market, right? We're trending up. So obviously, you wouldn't look for the sells here, right? We're trending up. So we're looking for the buys, right? The only way we're looking for the sells is if market structure gets broken. Right, and I'm going to show you exactly how market structure gets broken, right? So pay attention. We have the high, we have a low, right? Price pushes up above this old high and it creates a new high right here, okay? Then we have a new low, okay? So I'm going to mark it out for you guys, okay? 
we have a high, we have a low. Then we have a higher high, okay? And then we have a higher low. Beautiful, on uptrend. Price pushes up again. What do we have? But then something happens, right? Something happens. This was the higher low that we had. If we extend this, right? Price actually breaks it, okay? We broke it right here, okay? Now that we broke it, we went down here and we made what? A lower low, right? So this area, we officially broke market structure, okay? We didn't create a higher high, I mean a higher low, sorry. We actually broke market structure with a lower low, all right? Kind of crazy. So now that we understand that, now that we know that, right? We're, we're anticipating price to, uh, price to create a lower high. And what does that, what does price do? It pushes up right here and it creates a lower high. Now we're on the downtrend, guys. Now we're looking for these cells, okay? And that's how it normally works. Now let's go ahead and let's actually go back to the candlesticks so we can get a very good look at what's happening, right? So as you can see, we had the high, right? I'm gonna draw a line right here. We had this high, and then we had this low down here, right? Let's go back to the candlesticks. I mean, the line chart so we can actually see. Let's line it back up right about there. And then we had these lows, okay? Now price comes up to create this higher high. So we move it over here, boom, higher high. Now we have this higher low over here, boom, move this up, higher low, cool, right? Now that we have that, price pushes up again past this higher high to create a new higher high. Okay, cool, right? Now we're waiting for the higher low to be formed. Higher low was never formed, right? Higher low was never formed in this case. So let's go ahead and clear this out the way, right? Let's really get into this now. Let's grab the replay tool, okay? So we have this low here, price pushes up, creates that high, right? Now, as we play it, we're waiting for a higher low to be met, okay? Higher low to be met. So we come down. Yes, you can kind of say, okay, this is a higher low, cool, cool, cool but not necessarily, right? I like to wait for price to pass the old high where I really know that it created a higher low, okay? So in this case, it hasn't, right? It hasn't passed the previous high yet, so we haven't really made that higher low. So now we're waiting, what happens? We get a rejection here, boom, one, two. It's now a, it's, it's now a support, right? It's now a support. Now we're still waiting, right, for that higher high to be met now, right? Still nothing here. Price pushes up. Right, we have this absolute low. It's the same low before as the previous one, so it's a double bottom. We still wait. We have three wicks in this area for the low now. We're still waiting. And what happens? We create a lower low, officially created the lower low. Right, so now we're like, okay. Right, now we're like, okay. It looks like we broke market structure right here, right? And if you really want to get nitpicky, you can go ahead and highlight this area. You see all these wicks? Look, this was the previous high that was made, right? This is now a new high right? It's a lower high. So we can remove this. And we're actually going to put right here, right? Lower high. Boom. Lower high was made and a lower low was made, right? Crazy. So now that we know that, we're going to keep playing it and see what happens. We keep breaking to the downside. Keep breaking to the downside. So we have a lower high that was made. We're waiting for the lower low to be met. Right, of course, we're still dropping below this low, so we haven't created a lower low yet. I like to wait until the previous high is broken, you know, or at least we get some candlesticks pointing to the upside, you know. So let's go ahead and just grab this. I want to see some candlesticks actually pull up just so I know, okay, this low is official because price, what it can do is it can go down, come up a little bit, and you're like, oh, there goes the low, but then it comes right back down, right? You want to see it push up a little bit, have some traction to it. Boom, price pushes up, right? It officially pushed up. It left this little consolidation area, right? So now we actually have a lower low officially down here, okay? So I'm gonna grab this, come back down here, and this is the lower low. Beautiful. Lower low. 
So now we've broken market structure officially, right? We officially broke market structure. Now we're looking for the sells. We are no lo longer looking for the buys. And if you pay attention, right, guess what? We have the 50 SMA here, right? This blue and red line. The blue means we're on an uptrend. Red means we're on a downtrend. We broke the 50 SMA, right? That's another indication that we are on the way down, right? And in order to look for sales, guys, we have to we have to have a lot of confluences, right? We don't just say, oh, we created a lower low. We're going to go ahead and look for the sales. Hey, we created a lower high. We're going to look for the sales. No, right? We have to add all these things together. Yes, we broke a previous low. We created a lower low. We created a lower high. We broke the 50 SMA, right? These are all different things. And now what we can also do, guys, is we can grab our fibs now and go from this lower high down to this lower low. And look what we have here, guys. The 61 and 70%, normally where I look for my trades, I'm gonna highlight this area, right? We'll, we'll just make this a different color. And I'm looking for my cells in a year, simple as that. Looking to take my cells in that direction, okay? And then once price gets into this area, that's when I jump to the 15 minute time frame and I take it, okay? So I'm gonna put a vertical line right here. We're gonna follow price now, right? And if you pay attention guys, Check this out. Support, as you can see right here, right? Support. And we go back. Support. Support was broken, right? And now possibly we're creating a new resistance. This is the, the most perfect. Well, depending on how this scenario plays out, we're going to, you know, fast forward it here. The perfect scenario for the break and retest. All right. Break and retest. Break the support and then retest that support as a new resistance. Okay. So now we're going to play it, right? Now we're in that zone right here, right? We're actually in that, that break and retest zone, all right? So price can either fall from here or it can push up a little bit to the 6170 and reject from there. As of right now, we're at the 50 though, okay? We play it and look, price actually rejects from there, okay? It didn't hit the 61, 70%, which is what I normally would look for, right? In my actual trades, but you guys can see how, how beautiful that did play out, okay? Very, very simple. Right. And in reality, what I would have done is over a year, put a vertical line. Let's actually replay this back. What I'm looking for at this point, this is on the four hour time frame, by the way, right? I trade, I'm looking for 30 pips for my trades, guys. I don't go really crazy. I look for 30 pips, nothing really insane. Right. From here, I'll jump on different time frames, jump on the hour and see how the hour's looking. Okay. On the hourly, this is a gravestone doji. Right. Let's just go ahead and double check that because sometimes I forget. Right. Or inverted hammer. I forget. I think inverted hammer. Inverted hammer can uh, ha hammer candlestick. Let's go to images. Right. And we'll just double check to make sure. Here we go. Right. Inverted hammer. If appears during a downtrend. Downtrend. We get one of these. Right. Price is going to shoot down. So what happens? Price pushes up. Remember, we're on a downtrend currently though, right? All right, don't forget that. We're currently on the downtrend. Let's go ahead and grab that. We're currently on the downtrend, right? And then on top of that, we got this candlestick on the hourly telling us that we're going to go down, right? At a very, very important break and retest zone. So now I'm like, oh, it's game time, right? You can either sell at this candlestick, right? Or what you can do is jump on the 15 minute time frame and look for a better entry if you can find one, right? So right here, more than likely, I'm catching that entry right there. Or you can wait, right? Boom, we got three rejections at this area. Wait for maybe like a bearish engulfing. Boom, bearish engulfing, right? Bearish engulfing, and we actually broke that low, okay? This was the previous low. Price came up, price came up, made the low, came up, came up, came up, and broke that low. You can take your entry right here, right? You can either take your entry right here for the short, and you want to go above these old highs, right? Seven pips for your stop loss, nothing. If you want, really go 10 pips so you can really make sure you have some breathing room. 10 pips, right? And like I mentioned, I'm going for 30 pips on my trade. Bring it all the way down, right? 30 pips right about here, right? That's what I normally go for. Or you can even go for structure. Structure meaning right around here, guys, you see we have like all this support area, 
right here, right? We have wick support, support, price pushes up, support, price pushes up, support, pushes up, support, support, pushes up. You can even take it to this area all the way down here, right? If you want to play zone to zone. But sometimes, you know, I like to play it safe, right? So I'll go for the 30. We'll play it out, right? Let's actually zoom in on the 15 minute time frame. Look, price pushes up once again, very close to your stop loss, still hasn't taken you out. Ooh, okay, we, we literally got wicked out. Okay, something to learn here. We literally got wicked out, right? But as we play it, we actually did hit TP, all right? But I want you guys to understand the concepts of just how this works as far as market structure, right? I gave myself a tight stop loss of 10 pips, right? But what you would wanna wait for, honestly, is probably something like this. This e enormous, enormous bearish engulfing candle, all right? Enormous bearish engulfing candle. And you could have honestly probably taken your position right there to keep it real, right? And then stop loss above that old high. That would give you 20 pips. And you know, if we still shop for 30 pips right here, that's about right about here. Play it out. And TP was smashed. Okay, TP was still smashed. All right. We'll just play it out to see what actually what price wants to do. And price actually did come down into that zone, like I told you, playing zone to zone. If you would have held your position a little bit longer, guys, you would have actually taken your profit around 63 pips. All right. So just something to show you guys, that's ultimately how market structure works. And that's what you want to look for. These higher highs, higher lows, right? And when I showed you guys was that uh, market structure was broken, right? So we were, we were going in an uptrend. Market structure broke to the downside, created a lower low and a lower high. We used our fibs. The fibs didn't give us the accurate 6170 that we wanted, but it did push up into price. I mean, uh, into structure, right? We had support, support broke that support and even on the 15 minute time frame guys if you really wanted to wait price broke the support came back up and the perfect entry was right here right and you could have rolled this bad boy down right we were on the four hours so it took a little bit longer to catch that actual entry but that's what you could have done as well right and now on the fibs we can even check this was the lower high right we had this high price came down made a low price pushed up made a lower high we could have grabbed this fib all the way down to that lower low. And on the 50 again, price pushed down, all right? Like I mentioned, 6170 is where I normally take my entries. But, you know, as we're seeing now, the 50% looks to be, you know, the optimal entry for this specific um, scenario on Euro USD. All right? So ultimately, guys, that is it, all right? Hopefully you learned something with this. Um, honestly, like I said, market structure is super key, like practice, practice, practice. I'm still learning. I'm still developing my skill set, and ultimately, you know, getting better at this, right? Getting better at price action, getting better at market structure, reading candlesticks, reading chart patterns, and putting all of those things together with the Fibonacci and, you know, all those things. And then ultimately, you know, making my, my entry, my call, my position, whatever you want to call it, you know? So hopefully you guys learned something. And just before we leave, look, beautiful support turned resistance right there. Another entry could have been made right there, guys. All right. So I want you to hopefully, you know, review this, watch it over and over again. And most importantly, back test. Please back test. That's the only way you're really going to get to um, see if this really works. You know, it, it, there's no reason to watch these videos if you're not going to back test. All right. Make sure you go on trading view, go on a a currency pair you like, or maybe you, you know, if you haven't found one that you like, just choose maybe Euro USD or something and um, go back in time, go a couple months back and back test this stuff. Check it out. Mark your highs, mark your lows and see if you see what I taught you here. All right, guys. So with that being said, it's your boy Trey with John. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if there's any other videos you guys want me to do. I'll be pushing out content. This video took me a little bit longer than expected to push out, guys. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, some good videos that you guys may want, some things that you guys may like. So if you do have something that you want me to um, go ahead and, you know, explain a little bit further, and if I have knowledge in that area, I'm definitely going to do it. But without that being said, guys, um, I'm going to, I'm going to be pushing out value to you guys, period. You know, whatever I find out, I'm pushing out value. I'm continuously getting better with my craft and uh, we're going to run this bag up y'all. 2021 is the year of abundance, the year of, you know, financial freedom and making everything happen, making our dreams happen. So love you fam. Um, it's been a pleasure and I'll see you guys on the next video. All right. Follow me on Instagram, trade with John. Peace.